Hey guys, I have an art supply to share with you. This is the brand new set of 48 colored pencils by Windsor and Newton. And before we get started swatching these colors, let me tell you a little bit about them. This is a wax-based colored pencil. It has a soft, thick core. It's highly pigmented, light fast. It has a round cedar barrel and the core is break resistant. Okay, so let's open this up. This is exactly how it comes. They actually packaged it so it is, it is open, which is interesting. I'm going to need a little scissor here because it's all taped up. Okay. This sticker that closes everything together. And they're always so hard to get open. Okay, so you have this little plastic case that it comes in, you just throw this away. That's so you can see everything. Okay, so now I have to get my scissors again. I'm going to take the paper off. Oh, it's taped on the bottom. Okay, now I'm going to lift the lid off and this is how this is how it would normally go, but I'm going to take that off. And now I have to take the plastic off. This is very interesting the way they um, package this. Okay. okay, so this is the largest set. So we have two trays, and I'll just lift the first tray off. Okay, so my camera cut out, but I'm back. So, I think this is a good assortment of colors. Look how beautiful these pencils are. Okay, I'm gonna pick one up. I'm gonna pick up what looks to be olive green. Oh, it is, okay. So you have a beautiful gray barrel. You have the color name, no color number, but that's fine. Okay, so this is what the pencil looks like. It's a really beautiful round pencil. It feels good in the hand. Let's start swatching. I'm gonna move this aside. And I have my, I'm gonna use 67 pound Bristol vellum to swatch with. They do have a white. I don't swatch white, so we'll move on to the next color. The next color is called Lime Zest. Okay. Oh wow, okay, so it feels really smooth. This feels really good. You get a lot of pigment lay down very fast. But guys, this does not feel like I'm putting a lot of product on the paper. Oh my goodness, this is really good. Okay, I, I have a very light touch right now. I don't have to apply a lot of pressure at all and look at all the pigment that's going down on my paper. Wow, okay, so that's good. You don't have that heavy waxy feel even though this is a wax-based colored pencil. Wow, okay, so I really like the way this feels. Okay, the next color is yellow. Now this one has a little bit um, it's a little warmer yellow than the first. This one looks a little bit more buttery. Okay, this feels really good. It feels like I'm not hardly putting anything down onto the paper, but look at that payoff. It, you can't even feel it. Guys, you cannot even feel it on the paper. Oh, that is good. Okay. All right, I really like these. Okay, the next color is sunflower. A beautiful warm sunflower color. Look at all that pigment, and guys, I'm gonna touch it again. You can't even feel it on your paper. That is, that is, guys, I've never, okay, that is really cool. This feels good, okay. The next color is called Amber. Beautiful color.
Okay, the next color is apricot. I hope these swatches are large enough for you guys to see. And then we have orange. Guys, these colored pencils are brand new. They just came out by Winsor & Newton. And Winsor & Newton is a really good brand. Guys, I have to touch it again. Oh, I can't even feel anything on my paper. That's good. Okay, so I did notice the other day that um, they, they just came out, Winsor & Newton just came out uh, with a brand, it looks exactly like this, but they're watercolor pencils. I think the largest set you can get of that is 24. I'm going to get them, and we're going to try those together too. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is called Honeycomb. This is probably the best colored pencil I have tried in a long time. Oh my goodness. Winsor & Newton, you did good. Okay, I gotta touch it again. Oh. <laughs> okay, the next color is called Mandarin. Guys, this is a wax-based colored pencil, but it does not feel waxy at all. N not at all. The next color is called Red. This is a really good assortment of colors. Okay, so I'm going to tell you my observations. I love, I love lots and lots of colors in a set of colored pencils. Like you know, when you get those really big 150, you know, 120 to 150 colored pencils. I love that. But I've noticed I don't use all of them. Okay, this, this. Oh, this is called lipstick red. I use very. Um, a very limited palette even though I do love those big sets so even though you're you're just getting 48 colors in this set that may not seem like a lot but guys that's this is a lot because these are really good colors so I mean to be honest you really don't need those sets of 150 colors they're fun to have but as long as you have a really good set of colors you know 48 is good Okay, this is called Poppy. I hope that made sense to you guys. Sometimes I just ramble. But anyway, that's just my opinion. All right, you're probably hearing the rain outside. We are having a thunderstorm right now and it's pretty loud. So I hope you can hear me over the rain. The next color is called Cormine. Ooh, what a pretty color. Now I am noticing that if I if I put a little bit more pressure, I, I am getting a little bit of crumble, but guys, it's not bad. And most most of the of the what I've swatched already, there was zero crumble. Okay, so here is rose pink. beautiful baby pink. That's what I would call this. This is a baby pink. And then we have antique pink. Ooh, see this is a little bit warmer, a little bit more intense. Very pretty. Okay, then we have pastel pink. Gosh, that that rain is really coming down out there. I just planted a garden and I'm a newbie to all this vegetable gardening. Guys, it's so exciting. I have all these little sprouts coming up. Anyway, the next color is called Soft Peach. So I guess I don't have to water my garden today is what I was getting at because of all the rain. Then we have Dusky Rose. Ooh, I can't wait to see what this looks like. Oh my goodness, I love it. That is the perfect pink. It's, it's muted. Oh, I love, you know, this, this is the type of pink they have on like 
you know those old-fashioned Victorian postcards? You guys know what I'm talking about. Love that pink. Okay, and uh, the next color is called magenta. Oh, it's a very intense magenta. Look at that. And then we have plum. We're getting into our purples now. next color is called purple. It's a good thing I don't have anywhere to go today because I certainly wouldn't want to get out in this rain. It's a beautiful purple. Okay, and then we have violet. I love the way these pencil colors feel. That is so nice. Okay, now we have Midnight Blue. Oh, this is like, it's just a beautiful, I, I love deep, dark blues, that really intense blue. So indigo is fabulous. Okay, now we have Royal Blue, which has, you know, has a little bit of a purple to it. That's your royal blue. And then we're going to move on to our next tray of colors. We have true blue. I'm so glad I bought the largest set of these pencil colors. They do have smaller sets. You can just try them out. But, oh, this is fabulous. Okay, so the next color is called French Navy. Oh, that's a beautiful blue. Very pretty. Okay, then we have China Blue. Then sky blue. And we have lots of blues in this set. Azure. Okay. And this is very light. Oh, I love the name. This is called Duck Egg. What an interesting name. Okay, so Duck Egg is just a mint, mint green. So now we're getting into our green colors. And here is a turquoise. Next color. This is just plain green, which is a grass green. And then we have, oh, this one's called grass. Just just a little bit um, brighter green than the one before. And then we have, oh, this one's called Lush Green. Which is like a forest green. And, okay, so my camera cut out. I think it cut out here, or maybe here. Okay, so this was our olive green, and then we have caramel. Now I'm swatching cocoa. And the next color is called terracotta. Beautiful browns. Here we have burnt sienna. 
you just yeah. And then our next color, we have umber. I love umber. I think umber is my favorite brown. I love burnt umber. I love raw umber. And it goes with every color. It really does. You can put anything with a brown and it looks good. Okay, the next color is called shale. It looks purple here. Let's see what happens. No, it's a brown. It looks like maybe a, a Van Dyke brown. But they're calling it shale. And then we have warm gray number five. Oh, this is a, uh, it's a very deep. Um, I would call this a dark gray. That is for sure a dark gray. And then we have ice gray number three. Oh, this is a beautiful gray. That is very unique. That is a very unique color. I don't think I've ever seen a gray that shade before. I love it. Okay, then we have ice gray number two. Now I'm gonna put that right next to this one just so we can see the two together. Oh, wow. See, now this one, um, this gray is much taupier, and this one has blue to it, so you guys can really see the difference. So this ice gray number two has more brown to it, and ice gray number three has more blue. Okay, and this is cool gray number, number four. Oh, that is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. That is a beautiful gray. I'm gonna take my paper off. Oh, wow. I love that. Now, it, to me, it looks like I'm seeing some green, like a, a sage in that gray. I love that. Okay, so now we have warm gray number four. This is a beautiful taupey gray. It's very brown. It's very much a brown color, and I've got a lot of crumble off that one. Okay, and then we're going to cool gray number five. Now that is like a medium gray, or as this one was a really dark gray, this one um, I'm going to call our medium, medium to dark, because that is pretty leaning towards dark gray. Okay, and then our last color is black. Wow, that is black. That is, that is very black. I, this is very charcoal black. you guys we're having quite a storm right now okay so what do I think about this color palette okay guys this is a complete color palette these colors are bright vibrant I am so impressed with how it lays down beautifully on your paper guys you can't even feel it, it this is a wax based pencil but you get intense color lay down and, and it feels like there's nothing on your paper. It doesn't feel waxy. You, you literally feel nothing. So you get a very thin um, amount of color that lays down really, really smooth. And you don't have buildup at all. I don't see any waxy bloom on here. I'd imagine, since I didn't do it, but I'd imagine you can, let me just grab a couple of colors really quickly. And I'm just gonna um, put a color down and build it up. Okay, so if you do put a lot of pressure, you're gonna get some of that um, crumble. It's no big deal. It's no, really no big deal. Okay, so I'm gonna go over this with another color just to build it up a bit. Oh my God, look how intense I can get that. And there's no waxy bloom. And still, I put a lot of color down right here, guys. 
I feel nothing. I feel nothing. It doesn't feel waxy. Look, guys, it, I'm not smudging it. That I feel nothing. That is amazing. So you can still feel the paper right through even if you put a lot of color down. Okay, so this is really good. Winsor & Newton did a really good job. I think these are wonderful colors. And then we have the thunder as the background noise. Sorry about that, guys, but you know, it is a storm. It happens. Um, but I'm so glad you guys could join me, rain and all, for this video. I love these. This is better than I was expecting. It really is. And guys, th this is their largest set that they offer. I know 48 seems like not a lot of, of colors to some of you guys, but it really is. You can do a lot with all of these colors. You have a good assortment. Just Let's just take each color. We have a good assortment of our yellows. Oh my gosh, look at all of these oranges in here. That's a lot. You have all of your reds. You have just a couple pinks, but enough to do what you need to do. This dusty pink is fantastic. A huge amount of purples. You get a good assortment of blues, greens. They've included an olive green. That's all I need to know. They have an olive green. You have all of these browns and these, these grays are incredibly beautiful gray colors. I love this set. I love this so much more than I thought I would. Okay, if they do come out with more colors, I will buy them because they're that good. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. As always, I'm going to leave links below so you guys can go check everything out for yourself. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Bye.